Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Jong Readings. This reading will be for my air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, for the upcoming week of September 9th, 2019. So, uh, we have Friday the 13th. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, at the same time, we'll be having the full moon in Pisces, which actually is on the 14th, but as you know, we'll already be in that energy. So, uh, full moon's already about endings, completions, all of that. But with Pisces being a very hypersensitive, hyperspiritual, hyper psychic sign i feel like it's just going to be more emotions <laughs> but again since this is a three universal year i think the outlet the most logical outlet for all of the, that emotional energy that'll be coming with this pisces full moon is creativity right so express your emotions creatively what are the major things for my air signs for the week of september 9 2019 please 9 9 also a pretty powerful day right 9 9 Nine, nine, nineteen. All these nines with this full moon. Things wrapping up. Okay, so angel number five, twelve. Air signs. Look it up and see if it resonates with you. Two bamboo suits. Hmm. Change partnerships. Changing partnerships. Change with partnerships with an older lady. Could be a sibling, relative, parent grandparent boss right out the gate um taking charge more definitely spirituality hmm so five bamboo lotus is about being vulnerable mm -hmm. being vulnerable uh with these changes that are coming with this older lady um or this could be you for some of you some of you could have a dynamic where it's a mother and a child and there's change coming in the dynamic with that that could be literal change like parental rights being signed over custodies situations like that or it could also be more about balance because we have the number two partnership yep this is definitely a parental uh, there's definitely not i'm gonna say not say definitely parental but there's strong parental vibes here with the partnership this is definitely a partnership of a younger person and an older person um, it could be like i said a younger male or female because um, you can't really tell what this baby is but older older female definitely and just the dynamic overall so change coming it looks like more spiritual approach to these things i believe a couple weeks ago that was a message as well um a different way of doing things um hmm yeah that's that's clear wow okay got some issues coming up of course but that always is to be expected when we have so much change on the horizon. All these nines, full moon and all of that. Okay, so on the second row to clarify this lotus, right, which is about rebirth and uh, reawakening and kind of accepting your power, right? Because that's what this baby is doing. So you got the peach card, Six Circles Peach, and she's all about romance, she's all about creativity, expressing yourself, particularly in, what did I say, domestic situations, we already talked about that. Um, abundance, right, beauty, success, all of that. She represents a young girl too. So this could be a younger girl and an older woman in the change to the dynamics and how that goes. But the issue that are shown with the Plum Blossom is that, um, so the Plum Blossom is about renewal. It's a card of spring. It's about love. I love this together. Because this could be, um, some of you may have a situation going on with an older woman, um, regardless of what you are. And there could be some love there. But also, I mean, some romantic love there. But with the Plum Blossom here, um, well, with the Peach, actually, there could be some issues that you are dealing with. So this lady may not like who you with. This older woman may be, uh, she, she, she's established, she's successful. You are doing your own thing too. You're younger, you're standing on your own ground. But because she has acquired more knowledge, just by virtue of being alive longer, she feels like she knows best and she knows more and that may or may not be the case, depending on your situation. Um, but there could be some issues with romance, like a romantic partner, like I said, I kind of figured that was a guy. Or how you're choosing to run your life right how you're choosing to express yourself how you're choosing to be to express your creativity your your romance right how you choose to spend your money she may have a problem with that 
And the issue, I mean, the solution is that to, <laughs> if it's love, sorry, it says do it. The cards say go for it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but also look at the situation through fresh eyes as well. So that is to say, understand that, okay, in this dynamic, she is the tree and you are the flower. So yes, yeah, she does have some knowledge there, right? She does have some wisdom that just comes with age, right? You need the tree in order to have the flower. But at the same time, the flowers have to live their own lives too, right? They have to bloom. They have to have a chance to go through their life cycle and shine and reach their prime and then, you know, go through the circle of life. So just look at it from a balanced perspective. Keep a youthful energy about yourself. Be positive. Don't let it stress you out. This is not something that should be life shattering, right? It's like she's just trying to on some mama knows best type of situation so then you have the north card next to that i just wanted to get these out because i just had a feeling that they should be out yep so i can get a clearer picture yep 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 this could definitely be a situation involving a young man she don't like who you with um with the north card right of course we expect that to bring you some issues right we already said that can make you feel down can make you feel isolated make you feel isolated from this lady make you feel isolated from yourself like okay who am i then right maybe she's right i don't really know what i want she's saying i don't know what i want yet and maybe she's right don't let that get to you don't let that get to you it's a time of healing that's what this tree is about and what did i already tell you stick with it i said that this is not a time for drastic action believe it or not believe it or not air signs the, the willow tree just blows in the wind. It's resilient. It stays no matter what. Say what you want about the willow tree. It's, it ain't going nowhere, right? It's flexible. So it's a time of flexibility and deep healing, deep healing, especially since we see this lotus here. And that also represents deep healing. With this old lady, <laughs> old lady, <laughs> the two circles pine, a younger man. Again, number two, partnerships. So you could be an older lady and there could be a younger girl who doesn't approve of your situation, right? Maybe your child or a relative, a coworker, or somebody like, girl, that ain't gonna work out. Um, or boy, that ain't gonna work out, right? She's too old for you. <laughs> He's contemplating though. He's contemplating this partnership. This is a good guy in the cards. And I told you that, I said, don't leave. I said that this is a good person. Um, he may still have some maturing to do some, he still may be trying to figure out his life to be honest, but he's not, bad stock right you know how you're like oh that's just a bad group of person that's a bad batch of apples i'm not getting that this person could be an artist could be into writing could be into philosophical topics right um activism rapping singing poetry deep things like that right they could even be a student older lady <laughs> so then we have the one wand entering which is about new beginnings barriers being lifted but it comes with the woodcutter it comes with the woodcutter so again <laughs> two guardians in one reading interesting because we haven't seen guardians in a while you could have some issues with again these new beginnings particularly this new beginnings with this person with this guy because look this is the older lady she could literally be blocking you she could be standing away the same person look she has her mirror she has her peacock it's the same person trying to walk through these doors, right? So she may have her own agenda for you, for your life, for even this person. And this could be a coworker, like I said. Um, and that's kind of getting in the way. The solution, though, is to just keep going. I already told you this. Just keep going. Keep hacking through all of that. The woodcutter also represents abundance and fertility. There's a lot of abundance here. The peach is abundance as well. The peacock. Fertility. Um working hard doing what you have to do right cutting through the nonsense this is the woodcutter what you reap is what you sow right you reap what you sow so now the woodcutter at this point is just cutting away at all the nonsense everything that does not serve him he's just doing away with it and keeping the things that do so don't get distracted now is not the time to get sidetracked you know what you want you already know what it is and the universe is telling you that cut through the bull three wine or earth so interesting that we have the earth is about being stable and your environment just around us it could be the little earth too um three is also the number of creativity 21 two plus one is three with this situation some of you it could be a new environment some of you may just need to get to a place of where you're not constantly around unwanted energies 
right? Um, there could be some barriers in your environment. So the situation with this guy could be literally they don't live near you. Um, they don't have their own place to live. They are, it could be his mother too, right? So the place where you do live or where he lives or where y'all live is not really conducive to this. Y'all could live with this lady, right? With his mother or with your mother and it's, you kind of just it's not really working out for that very reason okay so the last ones two guardians full moons always bring <laughs> things we don't expect oh seven seven okay so two bamboo duck so i think this is interesting that we got the duck clarifying the duck Two out of four out of the whole deck, 144 plus cards, right? So this is a heavy emphasis on partnerships. I feel like, and then the peach represents arrival too. There's some type of triangle going on. There's some type of situation where it's like two women and a man, two men, two men and a woman. One person is older. One person is like, no, this is not working. Let me tell you what's best. Let me, something is going on though. It's for us to have the peach and the pine. Both of these are the younger cards right and they both well the peach definitely represents love romance and the pine together yeah there's some something going on with some type of somebody's romantic situation and that never is the case but it is now we have the two here we have the two here the two right underneath but right underneath with the plum blossom so this is this could be youthful love oh my gosh there could be a baby involved y'all look at this the pine the peach a baby the lotus right a duck so this could be literally like a little young family um a mother father baby young love right all y'all young and there's y'all just running into the issues that comes along with young love or young um parenthood that's really interesting and then you got two older women a peacock and entering seven bamboo tortoise is about patience wisdom it's about slow and steady winning the race obstacles see the thing about this tortoise because it's number seven these are obstacles that you that are kind of to be expected what did i just say things that come along with the the program right things that you just kind of got to go through as you're walking through your new beginning so that is to say these are not things that should stop you i said that already this this is not ground shattering information this is not ground shattering um like action to be taken right this is stuff that you probably already knew or you probably already saw coming or that just makes sense it's textbook stuff don't let it stress you out last card of the spirit is seven circles insect another seven right another seven so this is about taking the spiritual approach of things being being grounded right in your situation and in your partnerships but healing letting things complete wrap up on their own Letting things go that need to be let go of. Stay in your ground, which I said it. If you know in your heart that what you're doing is right and this partnership is right and this person that you want to be with or whatever, for some of you it could be like a work situation or something like that, right? A project that you're working on, business partner, then don't let it stress you out. With the seven circles, this is two people. Again, all these twos, the duck, the duck, two, two, right? Pine, peach, two people, the two lovers, and then at last, the insects. So this is a divine situation. Is it forever? I don't know. Because the insect could go literally both ways. That could just be y'all. But either way, there's something that you need to do together while you are two, right? And that could be raising your child together. That could be getting a project off the ground. That could be evolving spiritually, right? Until it's time for y'all to, to, to separate ways, right? But in the meantime, cut through the nonsense and know that this lady just means well. She doesn't come with bad intentions. She means well. Libra Ooh, fisherman okay Libra angel number 93 look it up see if it resonates with you so the fisherman I think it's interesting that we got this considering that you had that whole family type of dynamic um, the fisherman is about regeneration getting back together what did I tell you that I told you this is not the time to you didn't get the sword you know nothing like that to or take drastic action cut somebody out of your life nope 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 this is also about so like I said regeneration getting back to the, the 
source, the root of your connection with this person, right? The pureness, the essence of it, right? So if this is a parent or something like that, what is the essence of your relationship, right? It's pure, parent, child, it's fun, it's wisdom, and it's versus ex an experience versus joy and adventure, right? Allow that. This also represents fertility, so be careful. <laughs> Um, if that's not something that you are looking to do, but also this could be fertility in experiences, right? So things are coming. Fisherman takes patience. You also have the um, the tortoise, right? Just be patient. He's getting what he wants. This fish is small, but it's something, and he's excited. He's grateful for it because guess what? It's the beginning. It's the beginning of some new things, right? The beginning of his abundance. So just be grateful, Libra. Whatever you got, just be happy for it. If you if this female figure is nagging or, you know, just be happy that she's in your life, period. Some people may not have that type of loving female presence. Aquarius. Okay. And seashell. I mean, snail shell. Seven bamboo tortoise. Okay, so angel number 777, Aquarius. Again, this came up in the reading. You need to be patient. You need to realize, Aquarius, you might be the younger person. And they made this lady may be trying to give you some wisdom that you do need right that you could benefit from right she may literally have gone through what you've gone through already um she may just have wisdom again that just comes along with age realize that recognize that also realize that these obstacles are not the end all be all look you walking over them aquarius it's hard yeah it hurts your legs are tired right but look the around you is clear ain't no more obstacles for a while so this is just a phase this is just something you got to get through get to the full moon get to Friday the 13th let the completions in right let these cycles wrap up these could be um spiritual cycles that you're dealing with that you don't even see you like what's about to end well there's spiritual things that you're wrapping up just take it one day at a time just take it one day at a time and know that it's all working out to your benefit Aquarius whoa it's long reading Gemini okay so, seven circles, insect, Gemini, we got seven again. Angel number 716, look it up, see if it resonates. This is definitely a partnership. This is definitely two people trying to get some stuff done. Trying to get some stuff done. Making sure that they're on the same accord. So, that is your message, Gemini. Make sure that whatever type of partnership this is, it could be business, it could be spiritual partnership, whatever, that y'all are on the same accord. Regardless of the third party that's interfering, make sure that y'all are on the same accord. Because right now, it looks like y'all on two different blades of grass. Right. So y'all may not even be clear about what y'all trying to accomplish right now. One person may say, oh, well, let's take her advice. And the other person say, well, no, she's wrong. Get it together first before y'all are trying to, I mean, <laughs> go out into the world. Right. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good week. Peace out.